By now, everyone has seen this picture of George Bush and Richard Nixon planning the uh, defense on the Watergate. And probably many people have seen this picture of George Bush standing in front of the Texas School Book Depository um, being questioned by police as to what he saw when President Kennedy was assassinated. You'll notice there are various FBI agents, CIA agents, and police officers standing around talking to Bush. Uh, next to Bush, I have laid this picture of Bush and Nixon in the White House. This is a forensic technique that investigators use in order to verify the identity of an unknown person in a picture. You match the skull shape, the hairline, the chin, the nose in the two photos, as was done in the famous book Coup d'etat in America by Michael Canfield and A.J. Weberman. This series of photos in the book proves beyond a shadow of a doubt that the actual assassins of John Kennedy were E. Howard Hunt and Frank Sturgis. In the same vein, we're attempting to prove that this is a picture of George Bush standing in front of the Texas School Book Depository before, during, and after the assassination of President Kennedy. You will notice this person is wearing the same type of tie, white shirt, suit, has his hands in his pockets, just like George Bush in the White House picture, um, is the same height, is the same weight, wearing the same pants, the same style of pants, the uh, same shoes in both pictures. This is very strong evidence to suggest that this is a picture of George Bush in front of the Texas School Book Depository during the assassination of President Kennedy. Now, why was Kennedy assassinated? Because Kennedy had just stopped the invasion of Cuba and arrested all the CIA agents who were training for the next invasion of Cuba in New Orleans at Lake Pontchartrain. Uh, the Cuban government has issued a book listing all the people, the 150 people from the Bay of Pigs that they suspect were involved in the assassination of President Kennedy. Almost all of those people were photographed in Dallas, Texas during the assassination of President Kennedy. The other reasons why Kennedy was assassinated was because he issued U.S. notes and called for the abolition of the Federal Reserve in order to, and he printed these U.S. notes to stop the British bankers and the private banks from destroying the U.S. economy. So George Bush, whose father, Prescott Bush, was on the U.S. Senate Banking Committee, was very interested in maintaining the Federal Reserve and ripping off the United States. President Kennedy wanted to abolish the Federal Reserve and put the U.S. back on the silver standard and the gold standard and producing things of value. So uh, this, we believe, is George Bush. Now, George Bush was asked where he was the day Kennedy was assassinated, and he said, I cannot remember where I was. But funny thing is, he called the FBI and reported a guy named Parrott as being one of the people who had assassinated President Kennedy uh, just before this picture of him was taken, proving that he was in Dallas, Texas, and was trying to manipulate the investigation of the assassination of President Kennedy.